This is Mr. Beast getting pulled over by real cops, and I'm watching it all happen right now, hoping that they will arrest him. And it all started with a conversation that I had one year ago. When my best friend Tyler called me to say that he's leaving my channel to go work for Mr. Beast. All because Jimmy thought it would be funny. And I believed him. I was heartbroken. And now it's time for my revenge. So here's the plan. In five days from right now, Jimmy's going to be having a meeting with Elon Musk at the Twitter headquarters in New York City. I know this because I've been talking to Jimmy's assistant behind his back. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> and I've enlisted the help of the NYPD who have agreed to arrest him after he leaves the meeting and take him to jail. Lock him up. <laughs> I know this sounds like a crazy idea, but it's done. One of my producers literally just signed a contract with the NYPD and they agreed to do all of this. Now all I have to do is get to New York City. Okay, this is awkward. Over the next day, my team and I got everything set up so that we were ready to prank Jimmy when he arrived. <sighs> Today's the day. It is the day it happens. All right, we're at the Twitter headquarters now, and this is exactly where everything was planned to go down. Was. Yeah, was. Jimmy's assistant texted me two minutes ago. Yo, boys, heads up, NYC just canceled. If you didn't notice, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm already in New York. It's crazy. It's crazy. Elon ego to Jimmy. Not sure when we'll reschedule for. <laughs> Elon Musk literally canceled an air act video, so you could say we're friends. In reality, I was actually super bummed about this news. All this time and effort we had spent on this prank was wasted. For the next two days, I literally wandered the streets of New York trying to think of my next move. And then all of a sudden, something unbelievable happened. All right, randomly, Jimmy texts me and he says, hey, I'm having a mastermind with a few friends in North Carolina this weekend. Eric, you should pull up. So I'm gonna call him right now, find out all the information and see if we can't make a quick pivot and run the entire thing in his home state. Please answer, please answer. The answers. What's up, buddy? What's the game plan for this weekend? Ooh, you coming down? I might, I don't know. I mean, you can stay as long as you want. I don't give a fuck. Um, Jimmy. <laughs> You're fucked. The plan was officially on. I even met a mafia member in New York who offered to let us use his private jet to get us down to Greenville. I cannot make these things up. Wendy, thank you for your sacrifice to the mafia. We're in Greenville. I'm gonna find you, Jimmy. For the next three days, Jimmy and I hung out and did absolutely nothing, or so he thought. The entire time, I was scheming behind his back, waiting for the perfect moment to get Jimmy's local police force to pull off the exact same prank that was supposed to happen in New York in his hometown. And... They agreed. All right, so here's the plan. Today I've got Deputy Brock and Deputy Bobby, and they're gonna make sure that Mr. Beast never traps another person in a circle ever again. Don't learn today. No more games for you. Both of them have body cams on. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, I'm Jimmy. I'm arrested. Well, let me show you guys just how high tech this setup is. So Jimmy's gonna be driving home, minding his own business, while I'm going to be in the back of this very real cop car. To avoid Jimmy seeing me, I'm gonna be looking through this monitor right here so I can see Jimmy's literal every move. Now, while Jimmy's driving home, Officer Brock is gonna pull him over for having tinted windows, which Jimmy does, but then he's going to inform Jimmy that he has a warrant out for his arrest. What's that warrant for again? Communicating threats. Whatever that means. But he will be detained, arrested, and put into this exact seat right here while I watch and laugh. <laughs> so now it's just a waiting game. I'm going to burn this place to the ground. All of this on fire sometime in the near future. I swear to God. Today is Saturday. I have my entire crew here. I have the local police department in on it. But planning around this guy is insane. Like, I'll have everything set up and ready to go, and then Jimmy will just decide he wants to go play baseball, which he literally just left the house to do. I mean, technically, I'm like five days into chasing Jimmy down, which is where, like, most people in this situation would just give up. But when Jimmy, you know... Turn Tyler against me. Try to take my friend from me. I just can't live with myself if I don't get revenge on this man. I just got a text that says that Jimmy's been asking where I've been for the last few hours. I'm gonna try to explain my way out of that and not be sus. So I unsusly met up with Jimmy and told him I lost track of time playing Subway Surfer. Then I watched this man play baseball. He's actually pretty good, but I'm only going to include clips of him striking out because I think it's funny. I really need baseball right now. Jimmy just left for his car and it is about to happen. It has been months of planning, chasing this man to New York City, getting on a private jet to North Carolina. All of this in preparation for this moment right now. All right, here we go with Officer Bobby. What's up, Bobby? What's going on, people? Let's get him. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm almost there and Bobby's almost to his. Alright, Brock, how's it going? I'm behind him, getting ready to light him up. 
If he missed the spot, we're still going straight. If he missed it, we're pulling in the parking lot. Stand by. What do you guys need me to do? Okay, so just go up to his window and ask him about his tent. Hey, how you doing? Look, I stopped you for your tent, man. Yeah, this is my car. Oh, it's yours. You know the tent. Yes, it, the problem is uh, when I lower it, people stalk me and take photos with me. So. I got gotcha. you. Do you have your driver's license or an ID or anything on you? Obviously, you don't have any warrants or anything like that. No. Let me go check that out, and if it, it, look, if you're good, I'll let you roll. Do you mind stepping out me real quick, sir, please? Why? Just step out, I'll talk to you right here. Just a second, man. I... He's pulling him out of the car, he's pulling him out of the car. Can you just step back to my car for me? Can you just put your hands right there? Right yes, sir, please. Spread your feet for me. You've got a warrant for your arrest for communicating threats. I'm gonna pat you down, make sure you ain't got nothing illegal, and we're gonna go to the uh, jail and take care of it. All right? Put your hands behind your back for me. They are handcuffing Jimmy right now. I, in this moment, feel like I might have gone too far, but also, he pranked me first, and this is just revenge, so. Come over here. Bro, I'm tall. Yeah, yeah it's gonna suck, man. Bro, he's right in front of me right now. He's right in front of me. Get in there any way you can. Watch your head. Oh my gosh. Mr. Beast is in the back of a cop car right now. I guess you're as quick as I can, man. Let me guess. Let my friend put you up to that. Hey, suspect. Hey, what do you say? Hey, suspect. Do you have anybody that has problems with you or anything that would take out a threat or communicate threats more? I, I have a lot of people who would. <laughs> He's kind of like smiling and stuff. I thought he might like really talk back to you. Stay down, guys. stay down, stay down, stay down. Is he in, in front of us? Yeah, he, he kept looking back here, so. He is looking back here? Yeah, he doesn't know. If they were, I don't know how they'd get their head on cop cars. Just pretty elaborate prank. I don't, I honestly don't think Sheriff Dance will let us do pranks in the um, patrol vehicles. I agree. That's why this is so crazy. But it's so hard to believe this is real. You've never been arrested before? No. Jimmy's actually taking this better than I thought he was going to. He's just so confused on why he would be arrested. You get stopped a lot for your window tent. Jimmy's just not replying to him anymore. <laughs> you hear me? Bro, I think Jimmy's getting mad. He's just not replying to the officer anymore. Listen, this prank is already successful, but it's not gonna stop here. We are literally taking Mr. Beast to jail right now. After all of these months of planning, seeing Jimmy in the back of this cop car, driving down the beautiful hills of North Carolina, it's very satisfying, I have to say. Oh my gosh. We have arrived at jail. We have arrived at jail. I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. We're about the first ramp to your right here. Jimmy's getting walked in right now. Again, the prank does not end here. You're not gonna get off the hook that easy, Jimmy? Put him, in, take his picture first and we'll put him in a cell. Just put your back against his, right, right there. So my kid might know who you are. Probably. Jimmy's getting his mug shot taken right now. I've been wanting to release Get Got T-shirts, which is this exquisite, perfect name that I came up with for my prank show. I just got got on Get Got Got Him. Oh, it's not good. It's an awesome name. You guys have been asking for Get Got t-shirts. I'm thinking we do a quick Get Got drop with Jimmy's mugshot on the shirt, you know? Link in the bio. Available for 48 hours. I don't know. Could be legendary. Can we just put him in a um, hold cell if y'all don't mind? Sir? I don't. No. No, you, you had to wait for that. You can't do that stuff right now. Jimmy had been stuffed in the back of a cop car, locked in a jail cell, and was now begging for food and water. So I felt like it was finally time for the big reveal. Hey, can we get him out? Jimmy. Jimmy was allowed his one call from jail, and I told my cop friends to pre-dial my number. This is Officer Dilly, Pitt County Sheriff's Office. How you doing? All right, I got somebody here that I was told to need to talk to you. Hello? Hey, you need anything? I mean, well, he mentioned a lawyer. James said he's talking to Alan right now. Is that his name? If you could just call him and let I mean, yes, if, if he's... Yes, I'm gonna need one. Okay, you're gonna, okay. Hey. Yeah? Uh, Alan says, this, uh, uh, look into the officer's body cam and say, I just got God on Get God. Oh, wait, so it's you. Ah! <laughs> am, I, am I able to? Come on, man, let's go. Come okay, on. Where is <laughs> I said, you need a lawyer? He said, I'm gonna need one, yeah. That was funny, though. I can give props to him. <laughs> After a while, I mean, they, well, here's the thing. <laughs> I thought it was real. 
And then I was like, this might be a prank. I was like, this is a lot of resources for a prank. And so then when I got in there, I was like, okay, wait, maybe this isn't a prank. Do you remember, uh... No, I don't. Do you remember, I don't remember anything. Go away. Do you remember that Go. one time where no. you, uh, you flew Tyler out and pretended that you were gonna hire him instead of mine and that was like a whole prank bit that you did? Oh, wait, you're right, I did do that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. The question is... I don't care what he's gonna say, I just went through a lot, you have to subscribe to me. Stop. No, 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 no. What on earth could you ever do to outdo that, you know what I mean? Oh, back to you? Yeah, I, I, oh, I kind of challenge. I kind of feel like we have a little prank war so going on. So you're now, saying you know? I can do whatever I want back to you? Yeah. That's all I need. I'm actually scared because I know you will actually throw millions of dollars at it just for fun. Oh, you think I'll stop at millions? Well, I'm waiting for Jimmy to prank me back. I kind of want to make this into a series where I prank other creators. So I want you guys to comment who you think I should prank next, and I'll get got whoever ends up as the top comment. Shout out to Daniel Morales23 for following me on Instagram and following back one person every single week. Mr. Beast is just walking home, I guess. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. Bye, Mr. Beast.